First off, I want to thank everyone that showed up for the full live stream that ran for about two hours and covered the AMD keynote as well as the NVIDIA keynote. And this particular video is something big that came out of the NVIDIA one. Now, NVIDIA has officially announced its GeForce RTX 3060 12 gigabyte graphics card based on the Ampere GPU architecture. Now, the GeForce RTX 3060 is the most affordable GeForce RTX graphics card within the Ampere family and the second graphics card within the RTX 3060 series lineup with the 3060 Ti being the first one. Now, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card aims to be the mainstream Ampere GPU option with that price point well below that $500 US market. Now the graphics card will feature a reference MSRP of $329 US, which makes the RTX 3060 the most affordable 12 gigabyte graphics card ever made. Now let's just see if it can hold close to that MSRP once it hits the streets. Now the card is $70 US cheaper than the RTX 3060 Ti, which is faster but only offers 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The graphics card will also feature a brand new Ampere GPU SKU known as the GA106, which aims to bring a balanced design and not consume as much power as the higher end GA104 GPUs. At the heart of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card is that GA106. Now the GA106 is the third Ampere gaming GPU that NVIDIA has produced. Now for the GeForce RTX 3060, NVIDIA has enabled a total of 28 SM units on its flagship, which results in a total of 3,584 CUDA cores. 112 TMUs, and in addition to the CUDA cores, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3060 will also come packed with the next generation RT cores, Tensor cores, and a brand new SM for streaming multiprocessor units. Now, the graphics card has a TDP of 170 watts. In terms of memory, the GeForce RTX 3060 comes packed with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and the memory runs across a 192 bit bus wide interface and features an effective clock speed of 17 gigabits per second, which delivers a cumulative bandwidth of 400. 8 gigabytes per second, which is about 100 gigabytes higher than the RTX 2060 6 gigabyte model, and you end up with twice the memory while Ampere's brand new compression architecture makes sure that the GPU isn't bandwidth starved. Now, NVIDIA will also be enabling resizable bar on the RTX 3060 along with the rest of its RTX 30 series. NVIDIA has stated that they will be adding support for the feature through GeForce Game Ready drivers, and it will be compatible with both Intel and AMD CPU based systems. Having support on both AMD and Intel platforms might give NVIDIA an edge since AMD's solution only works with its Ryzen 5000 series lineup and compatible X570 and B550 motherboards. The driver is said to launch at the late in February, so around the same time as the availability of the GeForce RTX 3060 graphics cards. So it'll be very interesting to see how this hits when it goes to market, if it can maintain close to that MSRP. And as far as resizable bar, it looks like people are rolling out, so like MSI, ASUS, they're rolling it out to multiple vent, you know, motherboards. So it's gonna be really interesting to see where the smart access memory will hold its edge once this is a widely available thing. Love to hear your comments down below. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.